and uh, one of these stories, the one I'm going to tell you, I told it to General Secretary Gorbachev. Oh shit, this is on. Oh, sorry guys, just busy watching some Ronald Reagan speeches, drinking some Dunkin' Donuts coffee, and celebrating the excellence that is America. Um, on my USA hockey hat. Obviously, the U.S. won the gold at the World Juniors last night. Great moment for USA hockey, and you know I say this every tournament. You know, regardless of where the team finishes, seeing kids from all over, you know, make up that roster. You know, you got defensemen from Texas playing with guys from Minnesota and Long Island, and you know, you got a couple Massachusetts kids, and you got you know Cooley from Michigan, and you know forwards from Colorado, and you know just all over. It's just a testament to the growth of USA hockey, and um, you know just that the Sun Belt expansion, contrary to what people in Canada like to think, has worked. You know, kids are playing the game in, in places that, you know, Rosovics from Ohio and, um, you know, again, just all these kids picking it up because of their expansion. Rosovic grew up, obviously, a huge Columbus Blue Jackets fan and, um, you know, come up with a junior Blue Jackets organization. And, you know, there he is playing for Team USA at the uh, at the World Juniors and going out winning gold. I mean, it's just such a, um, you know, great moment and reflects, you know, beautifully on the uh, progress that the, the, the team is uh, that the you know institution USA Hockey has you know, had over the few years, the last few years, and you know again St. Louis area. I mean, come on, that's a hockey hotbed now. And the other thing is, and I I, I was tweeting this last night to, on to kind of troll Canadian fans, but um, <laughs> just want to point this out there. Um, you know, every, every time Canada comes up short, it's always well, yeah, our best players in the NHL, duh. We can say that now, too. Austin Matthews, ever heard of him? Zach Wierenski, ever heard of him? Matt Kuchuk, Noah Hannafin, not, not awful players. So, yeah, are, are, either, are any of those guys Mitch Marner? Actually, Matthews is better than Mitch Marner. I can't believe I just said that. Um, you know, I've seen Mitch Marner, Connor McDavid are up, but, like, come on. Our best against your best, yeah. At that age level, it's, it's a lot closer than it ever has been. And, again, you know, that shootout last night. Would I like to have seen it go to continuous overtimes? Yes, but I don't think my heart would have survived it. <laughs> you know, that's the one saving grace is, you know, I'm against shootouts and, you know, tournament games. Like, it not, like, the preliminary rounds, that make sense. In those, you know, playoff rounds, they make zero sense to me. Um, you know, but then again, I also think about my cardiac health, and, you know, I probably would have had a massive heart attack by around, sec- you know, the second overtime. Um you know, again, that was just the, the non-stop action that was going on last night. And, you know, a, a true testament to, you know, what we've got going on with uh, with USA Hockey. And really cool to see Charlie McAvoy, Bruins prospect, being named player of the game. Um, I actually caught the third period in overtime in the shootouts at the Bruins game last night. I got to see that fucking debacle in person. So thoughts and prayers for me right now. Um, but, you know, again, this is just a, uh, a great moment. For, for hockey in the United States. And, uh, oh, Austin Matthews, who would have been on this team if he wasn't that good, um, if he wasn't as good as he is, uh, tweeted a few emojis, American flag emojis, pretty straightforward. You know, he played with a lot of those guys, you know, with the development team, with, you know, other teams over the years. And uh, a couple Canadian fans were not happy with him. They thought it was taunting. You know, it's fine for Canadians to celebrate their pride when they win, but when Americans do it, we're ignorant and... National, overly nationalistic and all that shit, so. What do you want from me? You know, relax. But, uh, again, uh, I'm, I'm on cloud nine thinking about this. I'm, you know, thinking about next year, USA versus Canada at the uh, Buffalo Bills Stadium outside. First ever outdoor world junior game. Uh, you know, you, you, if you don't get excited about shit like that, then I'm sorry for you. you know, and again, uh, five hole Troy Terry. All drinks this weekend are for Troy Terry. So, and by the way, named after Troy Aikman. I think that's pretty cool. Troy Aikman tweeted, uh, tweeted at him before the uh, gold medal game. It's that's pretty sweet, you know. So, oh, and I also tweeted this. So before Obama was inaugurated in 2009, the U.S. had won one gold at the World Juniors. They've won three during Obama's term. Thanks, Obama. They also bookmarked, uh, bookended Obama's presidency. They won it for the first World Junior two second in office for in the last. And the, the, I guess you'd say the middle one as well, 2013, right before he got inaugurated for a second term. So that's pretty cool. 
you know, just thought I'd throw that out there. So, you know, a lot of people in America are probably going to end Democrat, um, like sarcastically using that, thanks Obama, hashtag, well, I get, I don't know what he had to do with it, but so I threw all that out there, so thanks Barack. Anyway, that's all I got, so to the power play with CJ, stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. You say sexy America.